He represented Niue in rugby league and even captained his teams overseas. Sport was his life. But in April, Luca Jackson Gibb was left fighting for his life. It's a hard week, half a day a week, hard and in a fight if they do try to get a beer. Luca was coaching his son's junior league game in Lower Hutt when he got into an argument with a parent from the other team. It's alleged that parent punched Luca in the head from behind, all of this unfolding right in front of his wife and children. You were there too? Yeah. <laughs> they cry every night. You know, I've let them know that it's okay to cry, you know. It's interesting to see how they deal with this kind of grief. Luca suffers from a severe brain injury, crippling the former athlete who is learning to walk and talk again. So I know it's permanent. That's hard. That's been one of the hardest things for me to accept. But I know that when you do accept it, you know, you're kind of set free. And you've got a new road to follow, a new journey to follow. It's not only impacted the father of five, but also his loved ones. I miss him at home too. Like, when a car, ride, a car rides, uh, when he tickles me, when I sleep with him, yeah. Luca stays at the rehab clinic for his therapy session, and every step counts as he hopes to regain strength again. As I was talking to Luca, it's not just practice that makes perfect, just as in your sport, but it's perfect practice that makes perfect. And so the experts in there are really working with him to make sure he does it right each time. And when it's kind of not becoming right, you stop. It's, it's you know, very much like coaching and, and training. The man who allegedly hit Luca will face a jury trial next month for now, all the family can do is wait. Justice to be served. What I want most of all is just for Luca to come home to us. I don't care in what state he is, you know, I can care for him. In 2018, Parliament rejected a bill in its first reading to create a coward punch offence with a maximum of 20 years jail time. Critics say this means there's absolutely no deterrent to make people think twice about this type of attack. Australia was ahead. They, they created like a really harsh penalty for people who blind shot people. And you'd expect New Zealand to do the same thing. New Zealand mixed martial arts champion Israel Adesanya has been calling for a law change ever since he was also hit from behind in 2012. And this year he lost a friend and fellow fighter Tong and Fao Vake to a similar crime. For me it hits home because I've experienced it but I've also seen the implications that it has on my bro's family, you know. Um, he's got a daughter asking where's dad and I guess it, she still doesn't understand that her father's not coming back. An online petition was set up in the wake of Fowl's death, calling for a harsher coward punch laws in New Zealand. And so far, they've collected more than 26,000 signatures. This is happening far too often. And uh, there's far too many victims of this crime. We want to put our best foot forward and be advocates against this crime and let people know that this crime um, needs a stricter punishment. Back in Wellington, the Gibb family are adjusting to having mum on her own. We do everything together. It's quite foreign for us to go without him. He's our superman. He, yeah, it's, I'm just wearing his cape for now. <laughs> He's loaning me the cape. <laughs> she travels to the clinic daily, but there's only one thing this family want. I hope he comes back home for Christmas. It's encouragement that helps Luca keep fighting. Think on my kids and wife and um, like I'm walking out to your team and just keep me going and 